So I'm um, saying, as you said, um, we should focus on our natural values. So no, so let me say I want to be um economic specialist. Ne, the next thing that is such a hang up. So no, so um, I'm talking and I'm good at um public speaking yeah, and yeah. so forth. So yeah. I should leave um my dream of being the economy specialist and focus on me um talking to people in public spaces or whatever. Okay. No. No. The answer is no. So um, you're not good at just one thing. You already need to know that. Um, I do several things, as it, as it turns out, several. Um, but some of them I've invested serious time in because that's going to be the base for my studies, for example. Uh, that's the base. But there's several other things that I do that I may never have time to invest in as much as I have in this. That's what it is, yeah. So, so, so you need to decide what's going to be your main thing, and then the other things are secondary uh, to that, yeah. So, does that help? Okay, there was another hint somewhere here. Where is it? Okay, come up, come up. Who's the one to hear your question? Come up. Good afternoon, everyone. Yeah. I hope you're going to give me a wonderful day. Yeah. Yes. So, my question is, as Sir said that sometimes you can be inspired by someone around your community or maybe you can from someone around your community or maybe as a mentor or someone maybe who you look up to. So, my question is, sir, as you know sometimes like, we don't all grow up in the same surrounding or say some are from the suburbs, some are from the ghetto, let's call them the ghetto. So my question is, you can find yourself maybe inspired by someone who you know that he is maybe educated, but somewhere, somehow, things didn't go well for him or her. But you can see that from him or her, you can take some few steps or maybe some few lessons. How do you approach that person and talk to him or her? So, so finding a mentor. So, thank you. Very good question. Firstly, just for you to know uh, as well, is uh, I personally, I wasn't mentored by one individual. Mm -hmm. I, I found what can I glean from this person? for them to help me. And some of those people that mentored me were not even in my community. I even had to go to where they were accessible, available, for me to be able to tap into them. So don't, don't limit yourself to, uh, to, to your local situation. People might even be outside of your community that you can access for different, for different things and so forth. And by the way, mentorship is not something where a person sits with you uh, for hours and hours and hours. Um, sometimes the help you need might be once a month. Mm. And in and, and that one session, they can tell you stuff that will take you weeks to process and so forth. So it's not like every weekend you must now go and, and do this. It could be once, once in a while. Also, uh, these people, based on their availability, you also can say, can I meet you once a month? or twice, or fortnightly, or whatever, they need to agree. Uh, one of my mentors, I only saw maybe once a quarter, but in that one time that I saw them, wow, uh, they, they were truly, truly helpful. I, I still talk to them after now, uh, because remember, our age is still, the gap is the same. <laughs> so they, you know, they have to pay, so, so we still do that. Okay, another question. Yes. Good day, everybody. My name is Pilar Sani. So I'm not um, going to ask the question, but since you have spoken about gratitude, I'm here to show my gratitude. Thank you. So I've heard that you um, professor at the University of Pretoria, yeah, yeah. and it's not easy to see. So it feels really special to be with you today, because it's only you. <laughs> it's only you. It's only you from achievers from the university or the graduation ceremonies. Right, That's right. the only time they get to see you. Wow. They only get to see you on social okay. media. Yeah, oh. yeah. 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 
somebody sit down with me and say, you want to be a medical doctor? And I said, yes. And then they said, okay, uh, this is what medical, being a medical doctor is all about. I would never have gone there. Because the way I'm made, I, I don't know if I was going to be a good doctor, uh, quite honestly. Uh, I, I don't know. But So that's why you need people to speak to you, to hear you out, and, and sometimes even things you don't see about yourself, somebody else does. And they can help you, you know, go in the right direction. But you are so sweet. I'll take you, I'll take you home with me. And then I'll come to you. 